The NMP was designed for and imposed upon Germany after the Second World War, designed to ensure that no one party was ever again able to rule that troubled land. The Germans, who are no slugs, have been trying to beat the system ever since. They try tactical voting, they try giving both votes to a single party, they try each other in every way to beat the MMP curse. But they can't. And neither can New Zealand. The MMP ensures that the winning party has to do deals with one or more minor parties. Hence the determination by Clark and Key to ignore words such as hypocrisy, liar and corrupt. But does anyone seriously think Peters will do a deal with National? They kicked him out of their party. He even tried going to court to stop them but couldn't. To be blunt, he hates them. Listen to him in Parliament supporting Clark and attacking Key. And the Greens with National? Yeah, right. And the Maori Party? I don't think the Maori Party can afford to support either Labour or National after this election. Are you starting now to get nervous? Well, you should be. But this is not over by a long shot. Fortunately, ACT remains the only party with a principled and consistent political philosophy. A philosophy best captured by the phrase, the guts to do what's right. It is the understanding that a society best pro prospers when people are free to make their own decisions. When ACT says we want to make New Zealand a better place, we mean to make New Zealand a freer, more prosperous, more secure country. That's our vision. And yes, Jim, we have set our goal to beat Australia by 2020. Not just in the rugby and the netball, but economically, socially, politically, environmentally. And we've set our 20-point plan to achieve that goal. Because we want our grandchildren and our children growing up in New Zealand supporting the ABs, not the Wallabies. There's no need for any secret tape recordings of us. Everyone knows where X stands on the big issue.